Thank you for clicking on the video. My name's Matt and this is Secondhand Home Theater and welcome back to the channel if you are a returning viewer. If this is your first time here, I greatly appreciate you checking out my content. Like I said, this is Secondhand Home Theater where I talk about various home theater topics, but I do it generally through the lens of buying used equipment and definitely high-end used equipment. And here today, I'm not talking about a used piece of equipment, but I am talking about a used piece of media that I recently picked up. And this is a topic I've talked about quite a bit here on my channel. I'm actually talking about the 4K release of the original Alien from Ridley Scott. Uh, I'm a little bit late to the party on this. This one came out like four or five years ago, but this is something I've been wanting to pick up and get my hands on and really test out here in my home theater, and I finally did it. We're gonna talk about the Alien franchise, and I'm gonna talk about this 4K release of Alien and why I think this is one of the better examples out there of a catalog title really being brought into modern technology and the initial artistic vision hasn't been tampered with. So uh, yeah, stay tuned. So if you've watched my content here on YouTube, there's kind of two things that permeate a lot of my videos. One is my love of the Alien franchise. As I said in the intro, I've done quite a few videos uh, about the Alien franchise. I think I'm up to like six or seven or eight videos uh, kind of across the timeline of my YouTube channel here uh, talking about just various topics of the Alien franchise. It's my favorite franchise out there. Uh, you'll know that if you've watched my content. That's kind of the first thing. The second thing is my love of not only used and secondhand equipment, such as projectors and receivers, speakers, stuff like that, but I'm also a pretty big proponent of older technology in terms of the actual physical media side of things. So watching older Blu-rays, watching DVDs, watching VHS tapes in some cases, and eventually, if I can ever get around to it, watching Laserdisc releases of catalog titles. But even though I do have that appreciation and that love for the older formats here in the home theater, that's not to say that I completely discount or discredit or that I'm opposed to the most modern formats, uh, namely 4K UHD in terms of physical disk-based media. In fact, I do see the benefit and the merits of having that type of physical media here in the home theater environment, uh, you know, in modern times, in 2024 and beyond. And with that, that brings me around to this release from 20th Century Fox. Uh, this is a few years old. I think this came out in like 2021. But this is the 4K UHD release of Ridley Scott's Alien from 1979. Now, admittedly, I really enjoy, I'm a big fan of the 1999 20th anniversary release of this film on DVD. I've done a video about that, that'll pop up here in the corner. I also have the 2010 Alien Anthology set that has a remastered Blu-ray version of this film as well as all the other uh, original films of the series. And I enjoy that as well for what it is. But I've really been eager to try and find this and get this here in my home theater. And the main reason for that is because I went to go see the re-release of this film back earlier this year for the 45th anniversary. And that was a co-promotion with Alien Romulus that also came out a few months ago at the time of recording. Again, I have a video on this as well. It'll be linked up here in the corner. And these videos will probably be linked at the end of the video as well if you're interested in watching any of them. But I got to go see what basically is the same version of this film that's on this disc in cinemas for that 45th anniversary release. And so it really intrigued me and I was really excited about what I saw when I went there. It's one of the coolest kind of bucket list moments for me to be able to see a film that I regard so highly and love so much in the cinemas when I thought I'd never be able to do that. So when I found out that the transfer and everything is basically what's on this disc, I have wanted to get this here in my home theater for quite a while. Now, before I get into the actual review of the disc, uh, a couple kind of footnote or, you know, points here beforehand. 
One, I'm not really going into the synopsis. I don't generally do that when I do videos like this. This movie's been around for 45 years. People, I think, pretty much know what goes on in this. Uh, so if you want to figure out the actual plot, if you don't know it, you can do a quick Google search and find that. That's not really what I'm here for. Uh, the other thing, this is a 4K UHD release, but I am not watching the film on an actual 4K display. I have a Panasonic UB420 video coming on that soon on my channel, but I use that Panasonic player to basically downscale the 4K HDR picture that's on this down into 1080p SDR for my projectors. So I'm not actually watching it in 4K in HDR like these discs are really intended to be, but I wanted to throw those little kind of footnotes out there in the beginning. Okay, so to talk about the actual picture quality on this disc. The picture quality, I will say, is not what I initially wanted this release for. It's more so for the audio, which I'll get to in a second. But I can say the picture quality on this 4K disc is really a good example of how you can take source material from a catalog release, such as Alien, something that was filmed in 1979 on actual film stock that was not filmed digitally, and allow it to be presented really in the best quality possible. And I know, as I said before, I enjoy the more rundown, grainy, gritty feel of the 99 DVD release. Uh, and how it really makes you feel like you're watching the film in a movie theater that's second or third run in maybe the early 1980s and the print's been roughed up from all the times it's been shown and all this stuff. And so you get little bits of grain and little bits of like distortion and stuff in the image that's on that transfer. And that's really cool and I really do enjoy that. However, the other side of me does really enjoy this release here because it really maintains all the characteristics of what I've seen throughout all the iterations of this film on physical media from VHS through the Blu-ray release that I have without changing the intended vision of the original uh, director and Ridley Scott and the crew that worked on it. And what I mean by that is there is still film grain present. It has not been DNR scrubbed to death, uh, if at all. It may have used some DNR uh, on there. I'm not 100% sure on that. But if it has, it's extremely minimal and extremely judicious in the way they used it because it's not overly apparent in any of the scenes uh, throughout the movie. You know, it really looks like film stock. You can still see the grain and you can still see slight imperfections, uh, you know, in like makeup and in uh, facial features and in the outfits, you know, the way they're designed. It's extremely clear. It's extremely sharp. Uh, there's no smoothing of the edges. Everything looks really the best I've ever seen it. The only time it's looked this good was when I saw this transfer for the 45th anniversary release in in an actual AMC theater. Uh, otherwise, this in the video department really beats out every other release that I own here in terms of just the overall clarity, the overall sharpness, the overall resolution that you get out of it. Now, again, I'm not watching this on an HDR display, so I'm not getting the huge dynamics in terms of like extremely bright content to extremely dark content that HDR provides, uh, you know, in something like this, but still being downscaled to SDR and 1080p from the source master on this is really quite pleasing and really good to look at. It was shot on film stock and using modern 4K technology, you're able to really see the high quality of the picture on this without it being DNR'd and smoothed out or like color palettes being changed because the color palette looks natural, looks like what it should look like, I would imagine, compared to all the other releases I've watched. So the image quality is really good on this. But like I said, that is not the main reason I wanted this release. It's for the audio. The picture is good, and I'm actually pleasantly surprised with the picture uh, that's on this disc. 
but I still enjoyed the picture quality of the older releases, uh, especially that 1999 release. Even though it is grainy, it is gritty, it's not the clearest or sharpest, you know, image out there for this film. I still enjoyed it for the aesthetic that it kind of puts off, if you will. The main reason I wanted this was for the audio side of things. And that's because much like the Blu-ray release that came out in like 2010, whatever it was, for the Alien Anthology, this disc ports over all the previous audio mixes that have been on the major releases over the years. And those audio mixes include a standard 5.1 surround mix, which I believe is a mix that they made for the original 1999 DVD and then got ported over through all the generations. It also has a Dolby 2.0 mix that was on that initial 1999 DVD that's been ported over, which is more or less the sound mix you would have heard if you went to a non uh, six track magnetic capable theater way back in the day. But this release also ports over a 4.1 surround mix from the 2010 Alien Anthology release that is honestly the one I'm most interested in that I enjoy the most. It is basically taken from the six track magnetic uh, audio from the original blow-ups of this film in 1979. And it's the same audio mix that I heard when I went to the 45th anniversary re-release. And to me, it is the best mix in the best presentation outside of maybe the laser disc that I've never been able to actually listen to that you can get on modern releases because it is extremely dynamic despite the fact that it doesn't engage the surround sound very much. You don't get a whole lot of action coming through the rear channels in your surround sound. But that front stage, which is your front speakers and your subwoofer, your LFE track, they are very dynamic and they have a lot of information coming through the speakers. And honestly, because this release has a much larger uh, amount of space on the 4K UHD disc, the actual audio quality is honestly just a lot better than the previous releases uh, in my opinion here in my home theater. You get a lot of like low end rumble from different sound effects and different things going on. You get to hear a lot of the score is very pronounced in that track. And so you get to hear all the different strings and horns and different things there. You get to hear a lot of little sound effects and just little things I've never heard before. Honestly, as I said to start, you know, this review, that is the whole reason I wanted this release, was to hear that 4.1 audio mix in the highest quality available. Now, again, I've never heard the Laserdisc release because there is a Laserdisc release that states on the actual sleeve that it uses the original six track magnetic negative to produce that audio track. And I'm assuming that's the basis for the track on this uh, and what was originally the anthology set back in 2010. But I would like to hear the complete uncompressed theatrical audio on that laser disc. I think that's the only version that would probably exceed this one in terms of the audio quality, in my opinion. But of all the releases I've seen in my lifetime, from VHS all the way up now to this 4K Blu-ray, the 4.1 track specifically on this release is the best audio track I've ever heard for this film. And to me, if you're a purist who really wants to get original theatrical audio for catalog titles, this release right here should be high on your list because that audio mix is extremely engaging, extremely dynamic, even though it's really relegated to the front stage. But that is definitely an extreme positive and well worth uh, me picking this up uh, because I really wanted to hear that mix and I, I'm not disappointed. Uh, it's it's awesome. I would definitely recommend that. But the actual audio and uh, video quality that's on the 4K disc that's in here is top notch in my opinion. And it's definitely a shining example of being able to take a catalog title and just update the quality to modern standards and try and get you as close to a pristine uh, film print that you would have seen like first run you know, on like opening night when this came out back in 1979. And I highly recommend if you're a purist, someone who wants, you know, 
audio visual uh, history, you know, as close to what it would have been initially. This is a great release, a great example of that. And, you know, definitely high on the list for me of so, something you should pick up in that, that realm. So with that, I'm gonna wrap this video up here. Definitely leave a comment down below. Let me know if you've watched this release and what your thoughts are on it if you're a fan of the franchise. Let me know other examples of 4K uh, content that you think really adheres to uh, theatrical accuracy, you know, an initial artistic vision of like the production. Uh, cause I know a lot of releases do get muddled with a little bit, you know, with their re-releases on like Blu-ray and 4k. Uh, also, if you enjoy this video here today or my content in general, consider subscribing, leave me uh, a like, you know, on the video, uh, let me know what, what you like about it, what you don't like things to fix in the future. Uh, I'm going to be producing more content here, hopefully in the near future. Like I said, my Panasonic UB420 video is gonna be coming up. I'm also gonna be doing the rest of my videos on my projector screen that's behind me. That got delayed a little bit for a reason I'll mention when I get to, to that video. Uh, but yeah, so I'm gonna wrap this video up today. Thank you again to everybody who supported me. I really do appreciate it. And I will see you the next time in the next video right here on Secondhand Home Theater.